Welcome everyone, I'm Zach. Today's video is about the different type of controls from each of the next gen consoles, right? So if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about tech reviews and gaming. And so if you like tech and gaming, then this is the right place for you guys, right? So today's video, I'll actually go through each of the features of each next gen console and tell you the things that I like uh, and dislike about them. And at the end of the video, I'll rank them from the most favorite to the least favorite. So let's jump right in. I'll start with the PS5 controller. So the first thing I want to talk about is the exterior of the controller. It's easily one of the best out of the three that I've actually experienced. It even has this little PlayStation icon and controller that makes it so unique, guys. Right? It also has a built-in battery as well, so you don't have to worry about swapping a battery if it dies. You just need to charge it wired or wirelessly when you are actually not using it. Right. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the button. The buttons feel very solid as well. It has this bouncy feeling when you press the button. I will let you guys listen to a quick sound test. The next feature of the DualSense controller is the adaptive trigger. Are you a fan of FPS? Then this controller has this adaptive trigger function which can adjust the tension of the triggers. This is definitely one of the highlights of this controller. It just feels so unique that you are, when you are playing FPS or even games that are not uh, FPS also feels good too. So the next thing is the haptic feedback. So it does come with vibration as well on the controller. This is an add-on to the gaming experience while you are gaming guys, right? So the next thing also is about the, uh, there's also two buttons which is also the broadcast and the share buttons. And also the best thing is come with Type-C connections for your charging as well. In terms of look of the controller, you can definitely change the face of the controller just like mine from third party store, but they also release many colors of DualSense controller too so pick the right color for you more thing remember i was talking about wireless charging earlier you can actually charge using their dual sense charging dock which you can just dock the control on the dock and you'll charge on your own pretty cool right so for the dual sense controller what are the things that i like okay so this is a very well thought of controller when sony designed the ps5 a bit everything just feels so smooth and quality i really love the adaptive trigger feature it just changed the game of console gaming and I really hope more developers will take advantage of this feature. It's really tough to beat with this uh, DualSense controller in terms of the overall design. If I, For things like that I don't really like, there's really nothing to complain about this controller. The whole controller is just fantastic overall. If I have to pick one to complain about, there are actually instances where I read online that the joystick will start to drift after a while. So you guys might have to take note of that. Next time I'm going to talk about the Xbox controller. The front, of, the front of the controller feels very similar to the DualSense controller but the back of the grip for the Xbox controller is slightly more rough compared to the DualSense version. Overall size is bigger than the DualSense controller. I tend to like the size of the Xbox controller slightly more. In terms of battery, it comes with a removable AA battery. Something I'm thinking if the battery just run out, it will be very convenient. Imagine you just end work and just want to game but when you switch on your Xbox and you notice that the battery is dead oh my god guys and you need to find another battery but I do see third party batteries where you can just slot into the controller and it can add a built in battery which I happen to purchase one which is right here okay next let's talk about the buttons here's the part where in my opinion that the Xbox controller really lose out I feel it's too clicky and it does not feel as good as a dual sense it also uh, is a lot more louder when you press it and it feels that you need to press it longer uh, or long or more to register it comparing to the dual sense controller let me show you the sound test Boys, if your ladies does not like you to game at night, then this control might have an issue as it's really really loud. And for those who are also living with someone in the same room and you want to game at night, this might disturb them as well. So let's move on to the adaptive triggers and vibration. This controller does not have any adaptive trigger function on it, but hey, Xbox, probably you can try something similar. However, it does come with vibration too, so I think it's still a good point, guys. Other functions of the controller are quite standard such as the view, share and the menu button. 
in terms of connectivity, it comes with Type-C connections. For accessories wise, you can buy tons of colors and design of the Xbox controller. So what I like about the Xbox controller, I love the bigger base that this controller has. But the things that I dislike is really the clicky buttons of the Xbox controller, which really turns me off because sometimes it sounds like as though this controller comes from uh, 10 years ago from those time when we play in the arcade. But in terms of the overall feel, this does not feel as premium as the DualSense controller. It feels like this uses a more, a little bit cheaper plastic compared to the DualSense controller. Okay, for the Nintendo Switch, as I don't use the small controller that comes with it, I'm going to review the Nintendo Switch Pro controller instead, as I really feel that it feels so much better compared to the one that comes with it. The feel of this controller looks similar to the Xbox controller, but in terms of size, it's slimmer, which is similar to the DualSense controller. It feels solid on hand as well, and it does have the premium feel too, uh, which is also very similar to the DualSense. The Nintendo Switch Pro controller also comes with built-in battery. In terms of buttons, it's very similar to the DualSense, but slightly more quickly, but not as much as the Xbox controller. And they are nice to press as well. It feels just like it sits just in between the DualSense and the Xbox controller. Overall, it does feel nice to press the buttons on the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. In terms of adaptive trigger, this controller does not have any adaptive trigger function on it. So in terms of vibration, it does vibrate during certain games as well. Right? In other functions such as the home buttons and the capture buttons is available on the controller and you have a mobile, you can use the top portion of the controller to scan. So for charging wise, it comes with a Type-C connections. Uh, in terms of accessories, uh, accessories, it does come with different types of pro controllers and uh, at different pricing. Some supports Amiibo uh, functions, some does not. So always remember to check with the seller before any purchase. Also, they also have Team Switch Pro Controllers and the Monster Hunter uh, Pro Controller. Okay, let's move on to the summary. What I like about this controller is that it feels better than the Xbox controller and the economy feel is very similar to the DualSense but with a bigger base like the Xbox controller. I think it strikes a balance between the Xbox controller and the DualSense controller. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the things that I dislike about this controller. So usually when you press a power button on a controller, right, you automatically wake up the TV. However, while I'm doing some testing, it does not wake up my TV at all. So you might want to take note of this issue. Okay, so we have come to the very last part and I'm going to do the ranking for all of you guys after all my reviews. So let's do the drum roll. So out of these three controllers, the most I like will be the, the DualSense controller. The second place will go to the Nintendo Switch controller. And the third will go to the Xbox controller. For the PS5 and Xbox, it's still facing shortages most of the time. But I hope that with this video, it will help you better decide which control you should go for. As I feel controller is a key item when you are gaming and it should not be actually overlooked. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching my video and remember, if my video helps you, do remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So once again, thanks so much guys and see you guys in the next video. Peace!